Cody Stroop here, Bike Man Performance. Today we got the Pro R on the dyno, completely stock form. Uh, it's nice and warmed up, it's running. And we're gonna do some runs and show you uh, what this thing does stock. Right now it is uh, fairly cool in the dyno room. We're at uh, 40 degrees air temp. So uh, the power readings are up a little bit from where we were in the summer, but uh, this is where it's at right now. Uh, we just want to be transparent and show you stock runs and what this thing does. I do have the uh, rev limit overridden uh, for dynoing, uh, just so we can see exactly what the, the stock header and exhaust is doing. Uh, so the only thing changed in the ECU is the rev limit. So let's go into a run here. So we're going to come up to 6,500 RPM and then we're gonna let it stabilize and then we're gonna take off in the run. and then we'll compare the graphs. That run there uh, was 234, 235 and are extremely consistent uh, one of the things you do need uh, for knowing changes are good or bad is you need to have consistent dialing so uh, anybody that's trying to do this on a on a wheel dial only uh, I don't know how you do it but uh, we start here then go to the wheels and and see how that goes so I'm gonna do one more because I started the second run a little early so it didn't stabilize stock form that header is glowing red so that is normal uh, that that's just just how these things run uh, they produce a lot of heat and now we'll go over to the dyno charts so this is the last run here like I said that first one was 235 uh, this one's uh, 235.5 uh, this is our stock curve I'm gonna pause for a second. I'm gonna average out uh, the, the three good runs and come back live here, hang on. All right, so now I've averaged our uh, three good runs. Uh, so average max power was 235 and we can go down and our average was uh, 235.4 and we're right in that uh, 8275 to uh, 8325 so for all you stock guys uh, that's going to be where you uh, kind of want to clutch to it's going to be your uh, most efficient use of 
of power and I mean the torque curve on this thing is is pretty good and you can see it's kind of got a little dip right here this dip is created from the butterflies closed during that point in the in the stock programming uh, I'm not sure exactly why players kind of has a slight butterfly drop back in that area uh, but in our programming we definitely uh, gain quite a bit by by bringing that up it might be a drivability or smooth thing or something like that but uh, that's the Pro R uh, stock form uh, we're gonna do a few tests here coming up I don't know if I'm gonna release them or not but we're testing everybody's header and I'm uh, gonna find out what that does so uh, if you uh, want to know information uh, you can comment ask uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you uh, see everything that we release